up to all of my cancer crabs so you have the temperance the king of pentacles and the eight of pentacles so this is a situation for a lot of you um cancer crabs well where these three cards are really much more about self-development and and real spiritual and metaphysical pursuits that a lot of you cancer crabs have been diving into and indulging in and the tower and the magician just kind of rep i already did this before but the tower and the magician represents how a lot of you cancer crabs have been learning to let go of the things that need to be torn away see the tower just the tower represents on one level things that need to be torn away things that need to learn how to be forgotten about things and people that need to be um that you need to separate yourself from because i said this before right and and i I actually, I keep forgetting to make this video, right? I'm going to have to make it in the future. One of y'all are going to have to um, remind me of this. But if you do hang out with people who are unfortunate, and what I mean when I say unfortunate, I don't mean they have decency, but they're down on their luck and they don't have opportunities. I, when I say misfortunate, I mean poor people. And what I mean when I say poor, I mean people who have the scarcity mentality. The people who don't want to do better for themselves whatsoever, they want to be given value. They want to be given excellence, but they don't actually want to strive that for themselves. Yeah, you got to learn to get away from those people, right? Because you have to, because the tower and the magician represents you cancer crabs have, and you start, you have already seen the difference, sis, the, the multiple differences of the way that your life used to be compared to how it is now. And um, this is a situation for you where a lot of you need to understand that what you've got, what you cancer has got going on is that you cancer ultimately have something that a lot of people, especially in the dating pool, do not have, which is the ability to learn to be by yourselves. See, a lot of times people, you know, over strive and they over, you know, they overthrow, they try to you know, they try to make it seem like the relationship is the end all be all. But like I said before, you have to deal the you have to, there's 10 life principles, which is um, I'm going to write them down. I'm actually do the research and write them down. But the first one is spiritual. The second one is health. OK. And then the third one is uh, family values. Don't quote me on the third one. But a lot of times, right, and then the other five, right, the first five are internal, and then the other five are external, right? The zodiac, first six are internal, the last six, or the other six, are external towards other people and yourself in relationship to other people. So, this is about how, in order to find that person that you could be with, it you have to learn how to be okay being single right because a lot of times people think that the end all be all is a relationship you see it all the time how many people who get up on the internet <laughs> and they and they talk trash about the type the same type of people that they're trying to get to know and it doesn't necessarily make any sense they won't say any they won't say a whole lot that's that's true they'll sprinkle a little bit of the truth in with hyperbole about how it is that all of everybody does this one thing, even when it's completely untrue, right? So as a result of this, what happens here is, is that the 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 tower and the magician represents you've just been staying away from people who are unfortunate, you know, because um, one if you keep hanging around them, they're gonna do everything they can to make your life unfortunate. Sometimes they don't even have to even try to make your life unfortunate. Whenever you hang out with them, they get your would-be luck and you get their would-be luck, meaning your powers swap, meaning that the good things that are supposed to come to you, it's not coming to you anymore. Because I didn't been, I hung out with people where I don't walk into doors. I don't, I, what? I don't walked into doors. I, I don't walked into, I don't walked into poles, all types of stuff. Then stepped in gum, just, all types of stuff i can't even go into it on here all types of you know nothing illegal but just all types of stuff that's just embarrassing 
you know, and then they then they get in all the praise. They they stay. So the thing is that the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Cups. Once you separate yourself from these people, you're gonna see who are the real unlucky ones, who are the dirty ones, who so to speak, who are the ones that are unlucky, right? And now that you're not in these people's lives, they can see that it's ultimately them. That's that's unlucky and that's dirty because you're not in their life. You're, you're right. Like you're not in their life anymore for you to to actually for them to actually blame you. And then the things that the nine of pentacles. Right. You're doing you're doing your own thing. You're off doing your own thing. You're not even worried about what these people got going on. The Knight of Wands and the Queen of Cups represents this being a situation for you where you got to also understand that be mindful, excuse me, of the people that you're trying, that you're getting to know, I want to say between now and the rest of the, now and the end of February, because, you know, you may, because a lot of people, one thing that I'm realizing about this reading is that a lot of people going to be coming to you trying to get in, trying to say what's up, all of that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? All of that. <laughs> and um, it's people who, who are going to be clumsy because they're going to be stepping. They're going If you were to let them into your life, they're going to be stepping all on your life because they're not going to know how to move because they don't know themselves. So they're not built to be uh, uh, a you know they're not relationship material, right? And you cancer crabs know when somebody is relationship material or well, they're not relationship material. You know. By the way, if you're finding value with this reading, then it means it's time for you to come get a personal reading from me. Um, there's a link in the comment section called the link tree. Click on it. Go to right. It'll redirect you to a website in which it has basically all the ways that you can support me from the books that I have that are on, that are on Amazon. Shout out to the people who've been buying the books. Really appreciate y'all, by the way. Continue to buy them, y'all. Continue to support. Really appreciate the love. Um, there's there's private tarot readings where you, it'll redirect you to my website and it'll actually say buy now as well as uh, it'll also say my cash app, uh, you know, cash tag just in case if you want to know. So if you don't want to pay through uh, PayPal, right, where it says buy now, that's PayPal. There's a cash app, cash tag um, above it, just in case if you want to pay me through PayPal. But um, I also have Apple Pay as well. Uh, check out my clothing store, right, Teespring store. We have everything from pants, shirts, hoodies, coffee mugs. Uh, my Instagram page, you can always uh, follow me on Instagram. Really appreciate it if you did. And um, my email address, just in case if, you know, you're kind of confused as to how to pay, um, you can always uh, send me an email, kareemspiritworksiago.com. Thank you. But um so the so the ace of where was i so yeah i was clarifying some cards so i was clarifying some cards that's right so let's clarify the nine of pentacles the wheel of fortune the page of wands the judgment the king of uh, pentacles, right? So the wheel of fortune and the page of wands is you don't have time to mess with them. You don't have time, with them, right? You don't have time for anybody in particular, or I should say in general, who wants to waste your time. But why do I keep talking about time so much, right? Why do I keep talking about it? It's time is important is why it is I'm talking about. It. Let's go directly there. The wheel of fortune represents cancer crabs. Okay, so you, even though you were in a in a hamster wheel, you can turn this to your advantage is what it basically means because you're in your own element. Now, the reason why I keep talking about time so much is because, again, I want all of y'all to think about how many generations that spent time playing games that never accomplished anything. How, what they spent most of their time, their life on giving attention to and putting effort into, right? And I said this in, in one of these videos, and I may actually do a video about it in the future, later in the future. 
people playing games is the reason why a lot of y'all are are in middle class. Y'all are actually supposed to be much richer than where y'all are right now. But how y'all ended up getting this way was due to the fact that people wasting time through generations and BSing and playing games. Don't, don't worry, don't worry. If you want for me to make that video, I can make that video for you. All you have to do, if enough of y'all let me know that y'all want that video, okay? But the page of wands is, again, you don't have that time for anybody who wants to waste your time. The judgment is, the judgment in the king of pentacles, you're just gonna cut these people off. You're just gonna excommunicate these people who swear out that they act like they have all this value, but in actuality, it's nothing but theater, right? It's it's just for show. Um, let's clarify the uh, let's clarify the Knight of Wands. Let's clarify the Knight of Wands. Um, the Five of, of uh, Swords, the Knight of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, excuse me, yeah, the Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. So um, to clarify the Knight of Wands, the Five of Swords, the Knight of Swords, yeah, they're just coming into your life to play games, compete, right? Because they're going to try to, they're going to be in a relationship with you. They're going to get to know you. They're going to feel embarrassed. That because they comparing themselves to you in that way, their ego is going to get involved. They're going to think that they haven't accomplished as much as you. So they're going to start to feel shame for themselves. So they're going to try to seek revenge. They're going to try to seek revenge because that's what a lot of this thing is about. You know, it's trying to seek revenge because a lot of people think that they've been, you know, oversharing and embarrassed and all this stuff because the ego, a lot of people's ego are not has not developed, right? To be able to take that type of comparison, right? They they haven't learned that, you know, just because somebody is on something does not mean that you have to be on that. And then the thing is that the Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Swords represents, is, this is just the proof. They're gonna act like they don't see you and, you know, how come they don't have any good prospects while they're trying to get to know you supposedly, right? So what type of two-faced stuff is that? You, who's not a good product? You not a you not a good relationship? You you know you're not eligible. <laughs> you know, and and again, this is the games that I'm talking about. So let's clarify for the tower. Let's clarify for the tower. There we go. We have the Nine of Swords, the Emperor, the Two of Swords, and the Queen of Wands. So what I'm seeing here is, um, what I'm seeing here for you, uh, Cancer Crab, sorry about that, I'm getting notification. But um, the Nine of Swords, the uh, Emperor, the Two of Swords, and the Queen of Swords represents how, um, a lot of you cancer crabs, again, you allowed yourselves to see who was in the tra who was the traitor in your midst, right? Who between the two of you, between yourselves and the people that you're dating, was it you, cancer crabs, that was tripping out a lot of the times? Now, sometimes you were. I'm not even gonna lie. We all had those moments, but a lot of the times, you now you get a chance to see. Was it you tripping out or is it that people were trying to do things sneakily or sneak, yeah, sneakily under the radar that you Cancer Crabs picked up on? You Cancer Crabs was like, nah, I can't let you slide with that. Why? Because it was two-faced. It was disingenuous. Because if you wanted an answer, you could have just been direct about it. But then the Two of Swords, <laughs> the Two of Swords is they don't want to be caught they don't want to take respons responsibility. They don't want to take accountability. So the Queen of Wands represents how, because what's the difference between accountability and responsibility, right? Account uh, responsibility is the stuff that you've already done, the actions and the, the actions that you've already done before, 
right? Past tense. Accountability is for future tense. So now it's the the recognition. It's the it's the cognitive correction. It's like what have you again? What have you learned from this experience? That's what accountability is, and that's what people say cognitive dissonance. Because what they mean when they say cognitive dissonance is you not learning from your mistakes. So what are you doing? You know, what I mean? you know what I mean. Um, so. The Queen of, um, let me see, the Queen of Wands now represents, yeah, you can't crabs ain't supposed to even be tolerant of this stuff, right? Stop hanging out with people who ultimately, you know, you feel like you have to force the relationship. And what I mean when I say force, I don't mean, you know, that type of stuff. I mean force in the sense of, you know, they, they only want to hang out unless you're paying you 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 calling them they can never seem to answer their phone you're sending them text messages <laughs> they're giving you short text messages that listen that's that type of games that people play is played out that's whack because again it, it's 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 delusional to go out with people that you don't like if you don't like like if you don't like this person, if you don't want to be seen with this person, supposedly, if they don't want to be seen with you cancer crabs, why are they, why would people even waste their time to even try to, to, to hang out with you? And, and that's the, that's the, that's the delusion in the whole thing, but that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video, trying to make my YouTube channel grow to 10,000 subscribers by the end. This is New York, especially on Friday. Trying to make my YouTube channel grow to 10,000 subscribers by the end of June. Smash that subscribe button, smash that like button. Hit the notification bell, set the notification bell to all. This is New York, love y'all.